the big thing that I want to emphasize is the interaction between scientists and the rest of the world, the public, policymakers, opinion formers, and so on. I think that gerontologists have been um, not conspicuously better than other scientists at communicating the value of their work to the general public over past decades, but I think we're getting better at it. Partly, I think, because we're being allowed to get better at it. It's no longer quite so necessary to focus all the time on telling the public that we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. Certainly, when scientists talk to each other, it's very important, and when scientists think about what experiments to do next, it's important to have a very good sense of what one doesn't know. But the general public want to know the best that they can, or they're going to make up their own opinions. So I take the view that even though our predictions for time frames about the development of particular technologies and particular outcomes are extraordinarily speculative, we still have a responsibility to expound those predictions because, the other, because otherwise the general public are going to make up their own predictions. And in the case of aging, that means they're going to take the view that nothing's ever going to happen because that's the view that they will get from history.